All right, guys, so just a, a little advice for you today that can really change your match result. You never going to tap in a baseball choke ever again after you watch this video. No baseball choke on you. All right, so watch this, memorize it, press, and you see the result. So there is some technique that can be neutralized just by positioning your body on the right place, okay? And on the right way. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. It's about this. this and many times when you're here in the guard, the guy sets you up, right? So he control your collars like he did so. Okay? And he let you go and pass the guard. Okay, so I mean here at first, I pass the guard, then he turn and choke you right here. It's a powerful choke if I stay on the same position I am here right now. Okay, so even if I mount on him, he still have that power. Okay, so I'm here in the guard, and what the guy does? He grab it like this. So if you notice the hands, one is with the thumb, one with the fingers. Like a baseball bat. Like a baseball bat. Just think about that. I mean, here I'm thinking about this. It's a perfect um, example of I should not be thinking about to pass the guard, and I should be thinking about hey, this guy have two hands in my neck. What did he want? <laughs> I should stop here to think right away. But the majority of the people, what they do, they keep it going. All right, so I'm here. Oh, I want to pass the guard. I pass and you tap it right here. Mount, mount. And if I mount, he still have a lot of pressure and catch me here. But look, you guys, just to position my body here, I can neutralize this very easy. So if I'm here, the guy grab you, all right? Boom, and I pass the guard and I feel the choke and I switch my leg. I put pressure now. Now he can't. You see, very hard for him. If I need, grab that. If I need here, grab it, yeah. If I need, I can even support it here a little bit. Though. But the hands get, the hands get um, um, in an awkward position when I twist my body like this. And if I throw my weight on his elbow here, so I hold it here, and I throw my weight, grab it. I throw my weight on his elbow here, oh, look. It's very hard to catch, to hold it, and also he don't have the power anymore. If I switch my body, he has power here. And I switch again, now look. He go awkward on his arm, he need to let go. Just by switching my body like this. You see, I put a pressure forward and I undo these things. So let's practice this a little bit. Do you guys see how set up you can cut up? 